Hi guys, it's me again. Today is Vlogmas Day 2. I told y'all I was going to stay consistent. Um, tonight is really, really late, but I wanted to make sure that I posted a video today. So tonight I will be doing a nighttime skincare routine. I won't be doing the full nighttime routine, just what I do with my skincare. So I'll just give you a little background of why I decided to post this today on Vlogmas Day 2. Um, a few months ago, I did experience that breakouts on my face and I was getting like dark marks around my cheek area. And it was just bad, it was bad, bad, bad. So I tried a whole bunch of different products and nothing would work. So I finally found this one product and it works really, really good. I can show you the name of it. Um, here is the product, if you see it. It is, when you first use it, when you first start out using it, it's very strong. So you gotta consistently use it. Like I use it twice a day on my face, um, sometimes three times a day. And it cleared up, like it'll clear up uh, face, chest, and back acne. So this is a miracle worker. If you are experiencing breakout, acne, back acne, chest acne, it's good for all that. So for my nighttime routine, I don't use a whole bunch of products and that helps with uh, breakouts and just, it's just better for me when I use two products. So at nighttime, I will use this. Nighttime and daytime, actually. Petroleum jelly and cocoa butter. And you can get this at Walmart. I think uh, Walmart, CVS, this runs you about $10. It is kind of pricey. I mean, $10 is a lot, of, lot for face wash, I guess. But it works really, really good. Um, I was using this with um, tea tree oil and the Pond's um, spot correcting cream. But I stopped using it a couple of weeks ago because I noticed it really wasn't making a big difference. And then when I started using the cocoa butter, I could really see my spots really, really clearing away. So, and then um, I also use, you can't really see what it is, but I mix apple cider vinaigrette. And water in this little tub. So I do about 70% apple cider vinaigrette and then like 30% water, shake it up, and I use this as my toner at night. It is very, very important to use a toner at night. Also, I have to keep in my bathroom a roll of paper towels. Um, I was watching YouTube videos and I noticed that, I can't remember who it was who said that they don't use a washcloth when they're, they're washing their face, like because it, it carries so many germs and so, many, so much bacteria. So I definitely recommend you start using a paper towel every time you wash your face and you will see a big, big, big difference. All right, so enough of me rambling. We are going to go ahead and get started. So I've been in my hair, so I'll make sure I wash my hands first with some soap. Make sure I get the germs off my hand. So I like to make sure I get my water really, really hot because I don't use a washcloth. Um, I like to just make sure I massage the hot water all over my face, make sure I'm getting deep down in the pores. Um, if I do wear makeup, I don't use makeup wipes or makeup remover. It works good for some people, but for me, it breaks me out. So I would just use um, coconut oil to remove makeup. If I have a makeup, today I don't have any makeup. So I use about a dime size of the facial wash day and night. And then you just rub it in, add a little bit of water to it so that it kind of get lathery. And then just massage it in your face. For me, I try to at least massage facial wash into my face um, for at least a minute. The only con I would say I have with the facial wash is it 
like bleaches my clothes, but it works so good. So if you decide to use this, just be aware that it does bleach. Like if you don't wash it off all the way, it will bleach your sheets and your clothes and stuff like that. So you wanna make sure you wash it off. It doesn't really mess with your hair because I've gotten in my hair before. Make sure I massage, make sure I get it all out of my face. So as you can see, I got it off. And you can kind of see like, as you wash your face, your face will get a little bit lighter. That's how you know you're cleansing it. So again, I use a paper towel to dry my face off. You can air dry it. I just wouldn't use like your bath towel or a washcloth that you previously used. So my next tip, um, once you wash and dry your face, I try to make sure that I at least wait about like one to two minutes before moving on to the next thing. So my toner would be the next thing, the apple cider and water mixture. I try to at least wait about one to two minutes before moving on to the toner. Um, just because I wanna make sure that the facial wash is actually setting in my face and making sure that it's doing what it's supposed to do. Good. And I actually used um, some, I don't know what I put on my face. I think I put some cocoa butter lotion on my face this weekend and it kind of brought about these little, little bumps. So that's clearing up too. Like I said, I you use this like consistently and all that stuff will go away. So it's going away. I use cocoa butter lotion on my face, not the cocoa butter cream. All right, so the next thing we have is our water and apple cider vinegar mixture. So I take a cotton ball and I make sure it's completely saturated and then I just go around, making sure I get all the areas. So I try not to double dip in it. I just use whatever I have on the cotton ball. Make sure you go up in the upward motion. So we'll let that sit for about one to two minutes. Now, the water and apple cider vinegar mixture does burn. So you definitely wanna make sure you let it sit for a minute before you moving on to different products. And it actually is burning my eyes. It always burns my eyes, but I like what it does for my face. It does wonders. So you can kind of fan it. Fan, fan, fan. And sorry I'm posting this video so late, but my best friend took me out to eat. My birthday was yesterday. Um, so I might post some pictures that we took at the restaurant. If I do, just go over to Instagram and like that picture up if you can. So you wanna make sure this is completely dry. And it feels like it's completely dry. You can see like my face, you know, it's completely dry. So the next thing I do is I use cocoa butter. And this is just to make sure my face is hydrated. Right, right now my skin is super, super clean so I can feel it breathing. Um, so this cocoa butter, and I don't put a lot because I don't wanna make, I wanna make sure I don't clog my pores. So I put like this much, rub it in, and I go up. So I will put about this much, like a fingertip. For my neck. You don't want to put a lot, like I said. You just want to make sure your skin is hydrated and moisturized. Put 
do my eyes, my eyebrows, give it a little moisturized. And the last thing that I do, I already took my shower and I've already brushed my teeth. So I'm already ready for bed. The last thing I do is I'll put some Vaseline. And this is a cocoa butter mix with petroleum jelly or Vaseline as you call it. Make sure my lips stay hydrated throughout the night. And I got big lips, so I gotta put it up there. So as you can see, that is my nighttime skincare routine. I hope you enjoy and if you have any questions, you can send me some comments down below. Um, I can reshow you the three products. Sorry, the four products. I can reshow you the four products that I use. So I use this facial wash. Um, this is a container that I got from Lush, but it has my apple cider vinegar and water mixture inside of it. Cocoa butter, which you can get from Walmart and paper towels. And of course, Vaseline for the lips. So I hope you enjoyed this nighttime skincare routine. We'll be back tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 3. Hopefully Tony and Callie will be in tomorrow's video. Probably do something, we'll have something planned for tomorrow. If you have not already, make sure you follow us on Instagram and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this video. See you tomorrow.